There's two types of people in the world who the Ping G425 LS Tech 3 wood are made for. There's the very smart golfers who know exactly when they should hit 3 wood off the tee, when they should lay up, play it safe, hit fairways and go and make par. And then, uh, and then there's the other kind, like me. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hello everyone, my name is James Robinson and I am not the kind of golfer who I mentioned in the introduction to this video. I'm the kind of golfer who only really hits three wood when you've got really no business hitting three wood whatsoever. You should be hitting iron, you should be laying up, you don't hit three wood far enough for it to really make a difference. But I've gone for the low spin version anyway because I want to try and max out the distance. You'll see that I've already hit some shots already, I'm well warmed up today, we're a couple of videos in and I am loving it. <laughs> <laughs> this video we're going to try and get this three wood to go as far as we possibly physically can without I mean the dispersion is already not great but the LST three wood is really designed for people who want to smash it out there maybe use it as a driver alternative and there's a big fat elephant in the room and I'm not talking about me uh where have they anyone know where the they've gone yes I think this looks so much better on top than with turbulators. We've got these kind of three dots just to show you where the middle of the club face is. And it's going to take more than three dots for me to hit the middle of the club face. But we have had a couple of long ones already. So let's set a bit of a scene. Usually my three wood goes around 250. You can see that I'm putting a bit more effort into it today than usual. Usually I'd swing it around 80, 90% and That'd be that. Today we're going 110%, probably gonna to have to go to the hospital afterwards and have another back operation, but that's fine. If I can get this to go around 275, then I'll be happy, because that's usually my driver number. But then the driver, this is where I kind of get mixed up on the golf course, because the amount of times I've hit three wood and tried to hit it too hard, when really with a three wood, you shouldn't try and hit it. I know there's people out there the same as me. I know you're there. Now, as you can imagine, with this being the LS Tech, the low spin technology, this is the smaller headed three wood of the Ping G425 family. The CG's placed a little bit further forward in the head for a lower spin and a lower, flatter ball flight. And there's two huge pieces of technology in this club. We have the face wrap, and we also have a piece of technology for more consistent spin. And before I say it, can anyone guess what the new piece of technology is for more consistent spin? Come on, you can get it, really. spin consistency. Brilliant! Oh, I am in such a good mood today. I really don't know why, but right, let's see if we can get this out there. Come on. I know you've got a big one in there. Oh, that was bottomy. And this is why, this is why I'm seriously considering putting this three wood in the bag, because if I try and smash a three wood into next week, generally my bad shot is low off the face. And that's where the Mirage in wraparound steel face comes in. That's designed to offer more ball speed from that kind of low hitting area for what Ping call a little bit more face flex, which is just down my street. Looking down at it, it's actually, it is a small head, so it does suit my eye. I do like small looking three woods, but there's a bit of a point to the back of it. And I'm not sure if that will, I'm really not sure if that little point might put a few people off. Hopefully not, but it does have a lovely matte black finish as you can imagine with any ping wood nowadays. I'd say it looks PXG like, but really the PXGs look ping like, don't they? Let's send another one out there. They're actually spinning, not too low at the moment. 251 again, boring, come on. You. I'd say you're better than that, but you're really not. Come on, that was straight at least. So for someone whose driver does carry around 275, surely a three wood that carries around 250 is, that's what you want, isn't it? I know we all want to hit three wood further, but no, no. That was bottomy again. See, bottomy and it's 245, like, I know I've had a laugh and a joke with you all on this video, trying to hit it harder, but when I try and hit it harder, I don't strike it as well. So generally it goes down in distance. Let's try just hitting some fairway finders. So you see how we've given up on the long drive three woods already. So spin consistency. I know I had a laugh and a joke about it earlier. I do think it's quite a funny name, but it's basically a new roll profile on the club head to bring a more consistent spin again to the bottom of the face. 
So really, this three would pretty much built for me, you would think. And you can, I can tell that with some of the strikes I've had, like some of them had no right being up there at 245, 250. Usually they'd like, yeah, not be, stop saying like, usually they'd not be very good. Come on. I nailed that one. I absolutely nailed that one. 258. <laughs> and I'm really pleased with myself because it's fairly straight as well. Sound wise, it sounds a lot better than Ping Three Woods of previous, and it's in a different league sound wise to the driver and looks wise as well without the uh, turbulent. Oh, nearly dropped it without the turbulators. So although this is the low spin model, the LST and the weighting is designed to be a little bit further forward. You will see in the back of the club here, we still have a little bit of tungsten weighting at the back just to give you that little bit of forgiveness. So really. This is the most forgiving LST product I think I've ever tested, which might be why I like it so much. Come on, can we get a, at least a 260? No, 253. I'm, re I'm really starting to get warm now and I'm hitting these well. It's gone a little bit left, but we'll, we'll do it. We will do it. I've not had any horror shows yet, which is quite nice. I think I've hit my seal realistically. So another piece of technology in the Ping G425 LS Tech 3 wood is the adjustment choosing hosel. So you can go up or down a couple of degrees, you can put it in flat, you can put it in neutral. Oh, uh, welcome back. We might or might not be taking a bit of loft off this just to see if we can, that's what happens, isn't it? You take loft off and it, uh, there you go, goes further. Anyway, right, big minus, we're going down one and a half. This is now playing 13 degrees. Oh yeah. 13 degrees, might even tee up as well. Yes, please. Right, little tee peg anyone? Aha, perfect. So this is getting in the realms of ridiculousness now, but then to be honest, I'm just trying to get inside my own head from when I would be playing golf because it is in the realms of ridiculousness when I play. So we're gonna hit a couple off the tee at 13 degrees and we're gonna see how far this goes. It's really more like a mini driver now, isn't it? I didn't realize that light was so close. See what I mean about trying to strike it hard? Definitely just need to learn how to swing faster, I think. Right. Two, six, four. We're getting there, I think, but we're starting to spray it everywhere. It's just like being on the golf course again. Anyone see the tea peg? Anyone? Right, I'm actually really, really enjoying this, as I'm sure you can probably all tell. I've actually really enjoyed, I've tested the G425 irons today as well, and I've enjoyed that. So all being all, it's been a good day. We've got three more, three more. Oh, that's got to be, yes! Fitting! Yes! May have gone a little bit left, but that is a 270 yarder. So never mind, got a bit excited then, but um, never mind the other ones. We are going to finish at 14 shots because we've got them out there at 270. So that is a load of shots hit, albeit, you know what? It's not out of character for me to hit three words like that because I always try and hit them hard. So I've tried to bring that aspect to this review. And on a serious note, I'm really impressed with the forgiveness element of it, which I'm gonna show you now when we look at dispersion and distance. I mean, really, that's the only one we need to look at, isn't it? Oh yeah, it may have been 13 degrees, it may have been teed up, but we got there. Um, all in all, dispersion, I would just expect that really for me with a, with a three wood trying to hit it hard. None of those are gonna be, I would hope none of them are going to be too bad. I mean, that represents a fairly narrow fairway. In my head, anyway. So I'm trying to build confidence. But what about the numbers? So we've hit loads of shots, and rather than just averages, I'm going to show you all of them. I mean, they vary from like 250, a couple of two, like low 240s, which just bad strikes, but the spin rates were all pretty good. I know there's a lot of information to take on here, so we're going to just go down to the average average exactly where I would expect at 250 going 255 a couple of really good shots in there and a couple of a couple of bad shots but and I do think I mentioned this when I was hitting the shots 
I think this is potentially the most forgiving LS Tech product I've hit. I've re I'm taking that off because that's really annoying me. And I've really, really enjoyed it. I think it looks magnificent. I think it sounds a lot better than Ping Woods of the past. It's really, I think it's gonna be up there this year for me, this. And I didn't expect it, because when I got it out with that point at the back, like I mentioned, I was a bit like, hmm, um, not too sure about that. But then I think taking away the turbulators is a master stroke. I think it looks so much better. I don't know what performance loss you may see from that. I really can't imagine it's much. I've really enjoyed that. You can probably tell I'm still excited now. So that is potentially, maybe, possibly, I don't know, if we ever get back playing golf, might work its way into a test to get into the bag. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed that. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. Make sure you leave us a like as well so it boosts this video in whatever algorithm YouTube throws at us this week. And um, check out the second channel if you want as well because that's probably better than this channel now as well. So apart from that, I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.